Hey everyone, Shadow here, <clears throat> and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 48, and this is war number 7. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called House of Dragons. Alright, let's see, who did they ban? Oh boy. Bishop, Kushala, and Wiccan. Hmm. Let's see what they got planned. All right. Yep, there's our favorite. So Magneto comes in. Oh, really? I see. Two future Ant-Men. Hmm? Well, Magneto can take one of them. And Hulkling can take the other. So Hulkling, Magneto, Hulkling can take that infamous Iron Man. Oh, we got a domino, huh? Yeah, I guess Hulkling could take that domino too. However, we have to deal with this Kingpin. And we need a tactic attacker. So I'll bring in somebody for him. As long as they're a tactic, uh, a tactic attacker, he's not really that difficult to deal with. So I'll just pick somebody that uh, might work. Yeah, I mean, we don't really need... Hulkling can do the heavy lifting. So, yeah, I'll just pick a tactic attacker. Now, uh, <laughs> tactic attacker. Now, you see how he they've got, you know, this future Ant-Man doubled up on my path? That kind of thing is probably going to stop because just recently, uh, Kabam has increased the scoring for diversity. So it's no longer worth it to uh, double up your defenders. I think I said attackers before. Um, but yeah, your defenders. So you don't want to double up like this or else you're losing a lot of points. It's just, it's not worth it. Just looking around here. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the plan. Hulkling and Magneto definitely coming in. And then I'll pick someone, maybe a uh, Claire or or uh, someone else. We'll see. Anyway, uh, let's get on with the fighting. So just like I promised you guys, I teased you, but you see there is no Magneto. We've got Warlock, we've got Black Widow Clairvoyant, and we've got Hulkling. No Magneto, so we're going to have a little fun on that uh, note. All right, so this first fight, he is a global defender, Kingpin here. So that means that you really need to use an ex magica uh, ex magica uh, attacker. So the pool is is limited already because of that. And then you have to bring a proper counter for whoever you're fighting. Fun, fun. All right, so Claire is Ex Magica. So I said, all right, you know, my girl Claire. Look at that, look at that. So I'm like, all right, we, we got this. You know, we know how to fight Kingpin. It's all good. All right, he's going down. Oh, he threw his special. That's good. That's what we want him to do. Okay. Here we go. He threw his special again. Everything's looking good. Up. Oh. Okay, he got his indestructible, but we were able to remove it. Cool, cool. Fire off my special two. Now, you notice I was in Curse of Play, so he didn't get a lot of power. So, this is looking great. Okay, he got indestructible again. All right, let's back off a little bit, because we're going to need to get rid of those indestructibles. Okay, bait it out, bait it out. All right, so he got three now. So, I parried. All right. And parry, now he doesn't have... Oh, wait, he got another one. All right, let's go, let's go, let's parry him. Okay, there we go. So I paused a little bit after the parry. 
Uh, and I believe that's one of the changes they made, that when you parry, two come off instead of just one. Otherwise, we would have been parrying, 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 trying to get that thing off. It's still horrible, but they did make an improvement. All right, now, we've got uh, future Ant-Man. And this future Ant-Man is on a node that's going to drain as long as they have armor up. But guess what? Hulkling can't be drained. So we're good. All right, we can fight him pretty much like normal, okay? Look at that, look at his health. Look at his health just going down. Look at that. So I'm like, all right, come on, bait that out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was me. Just kind of uh, messed up the uh, timing. I should have just blocked it. All right, here we go, look at that damage. Look at that damage, woo -wee! Get him, get him. Future Ant Man went down. All right. Love that Hulkling, man. Woo! They banned my Hulkling. I don't know. I might just say, oh, forget this. I ain't doing this war. <laughs> uh, he is definitely an MVP. Um, I got other options, but mm, not as good as him. Not for my path, anyway. Okay, now we're getting to the fight that I was teasing before. And some of you already guessed who I was going to be bringing in for this fight instead of Magneto. And uh, I saw someone in the comment section, I had already made this video, but they commented and suggested this guy. And I was like, whoo. And I just wanted to tell him, wait till next war. You'll see. Here we go. All right. So what you need to do is wait out that armor. Okay. Then hit into his block. Okay. Now I got my pierce. He can't get any armor ups now. So I don't have to worry about bleed. Look at this. No armor ups. Beautiful, isn't it? As long as I got these pierce, he don't get armor ups. Okay, now I've set him up. I need to hit into his block. I need to hit into his block. There we go. Unblockable. Mmm. Nasty. What y'all think? Better than uh, Magneto? Not only better than Magneto for this, but I can use Hulkling for other fights. So instead of bringing Magneto in for just one fight, I can bring Hulkling and I'll have more options to bring in somebody else to do more fights. Now, just so that uh, you guys know, because I did uh, get a comment and I do volunteer for fights. Um, this alliance does things a little bit differently than uh, my old alliance did at the time I left. In the old alliance, they signed, they you know posted up um, a sheet, and for your mini, you would say who you wanted to um, take. Okay, they changed that, and then it went to one person basically assigning the fights. That's kind of how the uh, higher level alliances do. You know, you don't just volunteer for fights. They assign you based on, you know, your roster and who you're bringing. Okay, so they may say, all right, you, you're gonna take this guy, bring so-and-so, all right? Well, we didn't do it quite that bad, but what we did was you chose the champions you were gonna bring to clear your path. Then, you know, if you had someone open, you would tell him, I have an open slot. Then he could say, okay, can you bring so-and-so for this fight? Okay. If you didn't have an open slot, he would just assign you based on who you brought. All right. So that's kind of how we did it there. In this alliance, they post up a sheet and you basically um, say, you know, what minis you think you can take. And then we'll see. Because a couple of times I've chosen, you know, uh, a couple of fights and someone else has already taken them. It's a little bit more uh, relaxed here. Okay. But this time I did get a chance to fight this Domino. All right. And that's why I brought Warlock for that matter. Now, the officer does post up the assignments 
but sometimes folks don't see it and they go in and they'll take a fight that someone else was assigned to but we'll see how that goes um you know we're, we're still quite a few of us are still new to the alliance so we're getting used to how they do things um so we'll see look at, look at, look at my warlock you know i was just looking for a chance to bring him in right now this warlock isn't uh awakened but nobody care he's still a beast especially against domino oh look at her evading yeah but that don't matter warlock got you y'all remember when you know i had that love hate relationship going on with her we used to fight her and she would oh she would always get me somehow I hated it but now that ain't happening good night monsieur domino all right so anyway that's the last fight that i'm gonna be uh taking in this war um i didn't really comment on the uh, I, uh infamous iron man fight it was pretty straightforward as you guys saw all right we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, take a look here. Look at that. Woo! Look at that defender diversity. Look at that defender diversity. So let me tell you guys a little something, something about that. Uh, Kabam saw that war basically sucked. So many alliances are no longer putting in the effort. They're, they're basically boycotting it. They're just, you know, doing whatever. They don't care. You know, it's a horrible meta. We don't care. All right. And then on top of that, there were issues with some um, placements. So it messed over a couple of alliances. You know, I don't know how many, but I saw at least two. Uh, New Nation, I think, was one of them. And so Kabam said, all right, uh, they made a few changes. And one of the changes was the defender diversity points. You're getting way more. I think um, it used to be at 150, it was like 4,000, something like that, 4,500. Look at the points now. So there is no longer any reason to double up your defenders. Now, what they did mess up, though, is it went in earlier than they said, and folks had already placed. Oh, well. Okay, that messed them up uh, as well. This season is just really... Ugh. Anyway, um, that's going to do it, guys. Uh, just keep an eye on that if you haven't already. Um, do not double up your defenders. Like you saw, I fought two future Ant-Mans. That hurt them. Look at the points. Look at how many points they lost for, for doing stuff like that. Okay? It's no, no longer worth it. All right? Anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day.